Hello everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to my simulcast. I'm on Spreaker right now and also on Hubhopper. Um, I did go a night without doing an episode. And on Spreaker, I went, and on YouTube, I, I think I went another night without uh, recording something. And I'll explain why that happens. That's usually when I am not particularly moved to make an episode. Um, maybe life is getting a little too boring, or maybe I'm getting a little too involved in my offline life, or my life online elsewhere. But either way, I finally got moved to talk about something. And, uh, boy, I'm always relieved when I can be moved again, because I get worried sometimes as a growing channel of losing some engagement again that I am finally getting. And um, I'll tell you a little secret. If you're a small creator, keep on being inspired to talk about something, because if you lag, if you lag off, if you log off and lag off, People might get discouraged and not feel like listening to you. Even if you think you got something really boring to talk about, it might not be boring to them. Okay, on to my topic. I'm done with the pleasantries for now. Okay, deep breath, everybody. Me, the advice that I'm about to give right now is advice that I am simultaneously giving to myself. And I need this advice too, and I've been studying it lately. It's called parasocial relationship. Let me repeat that phrase more slowly. Parasocial relationship. That's a fancy, fancy psychological way of saying one-sided relationship. And it happens often online with social media influencers. You could be having one with me right now. Not flattering myself, I'm just stating a fact. I have them with people online where I feel like I know them. This is my definition, what I've studied. I think I know them, but I don't. I only know the information they give when they post online. Uh, same thing goes for if you watch someone on TV or if you watch a movie or if you hear music and you think you know the person or people by the information that they give on TV, or on their music, or on their social media, or YouTube, or wherever you, you happen to be watching or listening to them. And um, this can happen with fictitious characters, or with fan fiction, or with real people that exist on the planet that you watch and you listen to, and you just hear and see the information given, but... You really don't know them in real life. You think you do. And I've had to struggle with that. That's why I'm saying, I'm talking about it. I've had to struggle with that for the past week or so. And I'm attempting to continue my parasocial and also be respectful. And also keep in mind that I don't know them. It's none of my business if they're married or not. It's none of my business um, what their life is really like. It's none of my business. It's none of my business where they live or where they move to. Or even if I do know that information, it's none of my business where, where they moved unless they consent to uh, say that or they give that information while they're uh, speaking or singing or doing their show or doing their TV program or movie or whatever. So, I have some advice that I'm giving myself right now. I have some advice that I'm giving myself based on the studies that I have done in my mental wellness process and online. And my, you know, watching, watching videos about that, um, listening to podcasts, even listening to music, songs, you know, inspirationals and things. Mind you, since I got, since I got sort of uh, born again last summer. Um, since I'm getting to know Jesus Christ. Um, so anyway, um, I am saying to myself now, 
And I'm saying to you guys, if you're having a struggle like this, I have a very powerful and very uh, universal slogan that I made up at Transcending. And it goes, hate the problem, not the person. I believe the same thing goes for me like this. My life like this. I have a universal higher desire to appreciate the influencers or the famous persons or the celebrities art or content or podcast or program or show or music or songs I have a higher desire to appreciate those things and if I love them at all the love I want to practice Practice towards them as agape love and Christian love. Love that Jesus had for everyone on the planet. Love that drove him to die for our sins. Really. And if you believe in something besides Christianity, maybe you have your own version of, you know, wanting to believe that. I Before I became a Christian in my own way, I had my own version of that too. Um... I wanted to practice higher love. I wanted to practice um, just knowing that they were worth. They were worthy because they existed. These people were worthy because they existed. And they were still real human beings and real people. And people that that I don't know that I should still respect as people. And not treat them like like objects. Not covet them. I'm very attracted to their work. There was a reason why I subscribed to these people. There was a reason why I enjoyed their work, their program, their songs, their music, their um, stories, their influencing, their content. There was a reason why I came across them and I enjoyed them. Also, I love I love the idea of them. The man that I uh, listened to, whose music I listened to, um, and whose art that I watched, that I looked at, this other person whose art that I watched and looked at, um, I appreciated that. I appreciated their personality, and I fell in love with the idea. I fell in love with their... Uh, their energy, their their personality, their um, art, their music, their uh, content. You know, the the way they came across. That's what I that's what I felt. I fell in love with. I can't fall in love with them. I know I'm not in love with them. I can say I have a crush on them, or I I can say that I. They're my world, or they they inspired me, or they I love them, or whatever. But I say this: their work inspired me, their music inspired me, their art inspired me, their personality inspired me. Their voice, the sound of their voice, reminded me maybe of something that that that's moving me forward, or that moved me forward a long time ago, that helped me, that I wanted to be like. So. Um, I know that it's harder to touch and it's harder to uh, grasp because it's an intangible thing. But that's what an idea is. An idea about a person is an intangible thing. It's easier to reach out and touch a person. It really is. You know, whether it's uh, out of em- driven emotionally or sexually or romantically or uh, socially, it's, it's, it's easier to want to touch them to want to text them or want to um, <clears throat> stalk them or binge watch them or whatever. It's easier to do that because we are of the flesh and we are human and we do need, we do neurologically and socially and emotionally and biologically need connection. We need that. That's normal and that's human and that's okay. It's okay for us to to want to have that, and it's okay to learn how to go about and get that. And um, if we don't know a person, though, 
They're going to wonder what we're doing. They're going to wonder why we're not leaving them alone. Why this complete stranger, Fan, is not leaving them alone. It's going to frighten them away. But if we appreciate, again, I'm giving advice to you guys that I'm giving myself. If we, I'm not saying you, if we, I'm not saying I, I'm saying we. If we appreciate their content, their art, whatever reason we uh, came across them or got drawn to them, if we appreciate that, and if we uh, can love them in a, in a Christian way or in a higher love energy way, if we can do that, we can safely have a parasocial relationship with them. And if goodness forbid we end up, you know, getting further, if they if they end up letting us into their lives, maybe we can more gracefully understand what they're like in real life. So that's the conclusion I've drawn this week. Hope you have a safe night or day. You're loved. If you're having a parasocial relationship with me, just understand that um, I'm dealing with my real life too. And I know you guys are dealing with your real lives. And um, <clears throat> if I'm not online doing episodes or uh, content, it's because probably very likely I'm dealing with my real life. Dealing with sickness, dealing with stuff, you know, personal stuff, dealing with uh, like my life at home. And like anyone, you know, internet celebrities and celebrities and personalities... They got their real lives too, buddy. They do. They got their real lives too. They're dealing with stuff too, just just as I am when I'm not online or when I'm not doing this podcast. All right. I'm going to go now. You're loved. <laughs>